the babies they had out of wedlock, the affairs they had with men or with women, they find a way to go on. The same mercy that you give to yourself, give it to your men. And the same mercy that you give to your sons, give it to your fathers and your husbands and your boyfriends. Now, if the guy is crazy and he's not so, and he's dangerous, and uh, get away, run, get away, get away, get the run, kid for us, the run. <laughs> take the keys, run, force, run. <laughs> but if there's something salvageable in there, I'm a pastor, so you can depend on me to be merciful. If there's anything salvageable in there, if he doesn't get it from you, he's going to get it from somewhere. And then if somebody else says, we want you, don't be mad. When he runs to the light, you can't be darkness and be light. <laughs> so, so you can say, I'm mad. You did me wrong. You broke my heart. But you don't get to say that for 10 years. You don't get to say that for five years while you forgive yourself he for all the four mistakes years? you made. He said four years. <laughs> four, four years and three months. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 you or you can say months. anything you want to. You're April Ryan. You can say anything you want, but no, I can't. My... No, I can't. No, 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 no. I believe in lifting black men up. I had a father. I have a brother. I had, I have friends, male friends, and I. That's one thing they'll tell you. I will lift them up because the world. I lift black folks up. I lift everybody up. I, I lift black folks up because I understand what it means to be black in this moment and in moments. I mean, I'm, I'm a few months from. I was born a few months before Dr. King was killed. My parents talked to me about the civil rights movement. I love us. I love all of us. So, yeah. Yeah. I think black men are also your sons. Yes. And, and your husband is somebody's son. Mm -hmm. Your boyfriend is somebody's son. Mm -hmm. As misguided, messed up, crazy, foolish, stupid, ignorant, whatever, he's still somebody's son. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the same way you want somebody to help your son, you want to help them. Somebody said on our line, how long should we be merciful? As long as you need mercy. Mm. That's mm. how long you should be merciful. If you I... have gotten so, so good that you don't need it, then you don't get it. The Bible said, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Mm. And, and, and it's not a one-sided mercy, by the way. It's not a one-sided mercy. It's it's just that different things matter to different genders. Mm. It, like like oh, it's a big old subject. We shouldn't even get out. Come on, no, but, come but, on, but different things, come different, come different on, things man. matter to different genders. For 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 you, your cardinal sin. I could go out here and rob 7-Eleven, but don't cheat on you. If I rob 7-Eleven, you'll drive the getaway car. But if I cheat on you, you'll run over me with the car. Okay, I get it. That's a big thing. I understand why. Biblically, I understand it. I really get it. I understand why that's atrocious and painful and hurtful and other things. But when I confided in you and shared my deepest, darkest secrets about what happened in my life or or the way my mother was when I grew up, and you got mad and used it against me, oh. for me, that's betrayal too. Mm, pray. That's betrayal. Ladies, yes, ladies, yes, yes, that's betrayal. Listen. Yeah, the, the Bible said the heart of her husband does safely trust in her that he has no need of spoil. So we are as guarded about our hearts as you are about your bodies. And you look at body betrayal, we look at heart betrayal. Mm. Understanding that is really important because we will be secretly angry with you you won't even know what we're angry about. It's because you went and talked to your girlfriend and you told her what? <laughs> wow, you, you said, Bishop what? You betrayed me like that? Y'all you know, listen to you Bishop told Banks. your sister? <laughs> See, so, so we need to have these kinds of healing conversations. And yes, we need to hold them accountable, but we don't need to be trying to raise grown men or pastor them. That's true. It's That's just... True understanding the fact my wife and I have been married 38 soon to be 39 years you don't stay together 39 years people say you've been happily married for 39 years nobody's been happily married for 39 years you, it, you've had good days and bad days you've had happy days and you've had days you just came home but we believed in something bigger than ourselves mm -hmm. we believed in our family we believed in our unit we believed in our common destiny we believed in our purpose and we worked through whatever we had to work through 
in order to get to where we've gotten to. And it gets easier as you get older. So, so that helps a lot. But, but that's where we, we ended up on a whole different subject. But is that helpful? No, but at this all? is important. This is, this is all about this moment. We're talking about the breakdown of family. We're talking about what COVID has done, how it's destroyed. We're talking about voting. We've talked about black men and the vote. Um, this is part of it, and it's important because we've got a lot of sisters. I have more women who follow me on this IG Live COVID conversations than men. And women, men and women are both pre saying, preach, preach. We need to hear this. People need to hear in this moment. People are trying to figure out how to dig out of the pain. And see, see is, what, one of the important things we establish, <clears throat> black people and white people are not really that different. Both of us have blind spots. And one of the blind spots that we have as black people in our relationships is just because you and I live in the same house doesn't mean we're having the same experience. That's true. Okay, so you went back to school. Good for you. Maybe I should have. You went back to school. You got your master's. You got your career. You got your job. I'm happy for you. I clap for you. I'm not having the same experience when I go to work that you're having when you go to work. I'm a black man. White men deal with black men differently than they do black women. When they hire you, they get two for one. When they hire me, they get one for one. They get two minorities when they hire you. I'm not saying it's been easy. I'm not saying you haven't been discriminated against. I'm not saying you don't have a problem. But you understand your problems better than you understand my problems because you communicate better than we do. You communicate better than we do. And there's very few people out there articulating the Black experience. But we're still your sons. Uh -huh. We're still your nephews. Mm -hmm. We're still your grandchildren. And, and, and if we don't learn how to listen at each other, sharing a house doesn't mean that we're sharing a life. Sharing the bills doesn't mean that we're having a marriage. Sharing a bed doesn't mean that we're having a relationship. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, I'm we, we, over the pew. we we have to say what is it like to be you? And you, you, my, I wish my wife were here because she could say this better than me. Tell Catwoman to come in; she's welcome. The core to any lasting relationship is friendship. Oh. Don't forget that we are friends. Oh Jesus. And and sometimes I need to talk to you as my friend, not my policeman. Mm. 